Featuring an award-winning, space-saving design, Bean to Cup coffee specialty beverages like the Flat White, Cappuccino, Latte Macchiato, Espresso, Standard Coffees up to 8 ounces and more, all made at the touch of a button from whole beans ground fresh for every cup. It's easy, quick, and convenient barista quality beverages when you want them. Hey, coffee lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today, an in-depth look at a new version of a machine that's part of Jura's signature line, the Anna 8 Massive Aluminum. This machine is packed with premium features found in high-end Jura machines, and all those features are wrapped up in something that's incredibly rare, a full metal jacket. More on that coming up. Plus, I'll take you through the machine's capabilities and have results of temperature testing. And I'll just tease that by saying if you like a hot cup of coffee, the Anna 8 delivers. So that massive aluminum. There are a few machines out there with some metal here and there, but really nothing like the massive aluminum version of the Jura Anna 8. The top, front, sides, and back are all covered in precision machined, three millimeter thick brushed aluminum. Now the Anna 8 is available in black, red, and white with standard plastic case, and those have all the same features and specs I'll cover here. In fact, the black version has been our daily driver in the studio here for about five months now and just got to say it's been outstanding. Real quick, if not familiar with these types of machines, they grind whole beans fresh for every coffee or espresso. So whole beans go on the hopper up here. The machine has seven grind settings so you can adjust grind size by turning this ring based on the bean type you're using and the types of drinks you make most. You don't want to set that grind coarser if you're doing mostly longer coffees and finer if you're doing more espresso or milk-based espresso beverages. The hopper covered has a nice seal to keep beans fresh. There's a bypass doser up top as well. Here you can use pre-ground coffee, perfect for making that occasional decaf. A core principle of Jura machines is convenience. So unlike most machines where you have to push some extra buttons if using pre-ground, the Anna 8 automatically senses you've added coffee. So no extra steps, just select the beverage you want and that's it. A favorite feature of mine is the crystal clear water reservoir, which mounts to the side of the machine. You can fill it right there or remove and fill it at a sink. And if you have overhanging cabinetry, no problem. The machine is under 13 inches tall and that reservoir comes out with a slight lift up and a move to the side. At just under 11 inches wide, the N8 is perfect where counter space is limited. The machine does come with a water filter and when used as directed, you will never need to descale. Now, you don't have to use a filter and if you choose not to, the machine will alert you when it is time to descale. If using a filter, Jura is going to make that easy. Convenience again. The filters have an RFID chip, so the machine automatically senses filter replacement and will tell you when it's time to replace. The Anna 8 is pre-programmed with these beverages set at traditional strengths and volumes. You can leave those as is or customize to suit your personal taste by adjusting coffee strength in 10 levels, temperature in three, and volumes ranging down to half an ounce for espresso beverages and up to eight ounces for a regular coffee. For milk drinks, amount of froth is set by time, and you can set an interval for macchiatos to allow milk to separate for a classic and beautiful layered presentation. There are three ways to program a beverage. Easiest is just press and hold on the beverage you want to change. You'll then be presented with all programmable parameters for that drink, get the option to make changes, and save them. Another way is to make drink changes on the fly. When you start a drink, you could make adjustments to strength and volume while the drink is in progress. So if you want one that's a little stronger, no problem. Then the, when the drink is complete, you'll have the option to save any changes you made or do nothing and leave it as is. The third way is to press and hold the P button, go into product settings and make your changes there. When making espresso beverages, the machine uses Jura's pulse extraction process known as PEP for short. This pulses water through the coffee for deeper, more aromatic espresso extractions. PEP is not used by the machine when making larger, regular coffees, and that's really good because it's going to prevent bitter flavors that can be caused by over extraction. Now, if you like your espresso big, bold, and strong, the Espresso Dopio makes two espresso shots with a single button press, and it's going to use two separate grind cycles of up to 10 grams of coffee each. This gets you a true double espresso made from up to 20 grams of coffee. 
After brewing any coffee beverage, the internal brewing circuit is flushed with clean water, a process originally developed for and used only by Jura's top line machines. Now at the top of the video, I mentioned that if you like a hot cup of coffee, the NA8 delivers. Over the last decade or so, I've used just about every bean to cup machine sold in the US market. And the N8 produces about the hottest long coffee I've experienced. It's not very often I run into a machine which produces a burn your tongue level temp in the cup, but that's a real risk on the N8 when set to high temp, so you might want to go down to normal. Now, here are the results of my temperature testing for most of the drinks on the N8. These readings are from a very accurate thermocouple thermometer. I use a factory preset volume for all drinks brewed into a paper cup and stirred each prior to taking a temperature reading. Temps reported are the highest observed reading. Espresso was 162. Now I also measured espresso at the spouts at 188 and that's really good. Coffee was 175. Again, very hot compared to most machines. My milk drinks were all in the 140s with the exception of the espresso macchiato at 155. Now a note on milk drinks, in the 140s is where milk is at its sweetest due to heating. It's the range in which a properly trained barista and good automatic machine will serve a latte. Now, every once in a while I get comments from those wanting hotter milk drinks. My guess is that those are coming from those who were straight coffee drinkers and then got into milk-based espresso beverages and expected a similar serving temperature. If a latte is too hot to drink quickly, it's not being made right. And Jura has got milk drink temps that get you sweet milk for the best flavor. The Anna 8 is a compact machine, but its adjustable spouse can handle taller cups as well. The machine tells you exactly what to do when it needs your attention, so you'll get alerts if you're low on beans, water, or if the drip tray needs emptying. I really like the design of the drip tray. It's large and has a flap which allows for easy emptying. Mill cleanup is a breeze with this two-chamber container. One side holds the cleaning solution while the other catches the rinse. Now that hygiene is important with milk and Jura makes it easy. Some accessories to consider. Now I've been using Jura's glass milk container. You can keep this in the fridge, pull it out when needed, and then put it back in the fridge for next time. All components of that are dishwasher safe. The N8 comes with a milk pickup too, but for a more elegant and modern look, I'm using this stainless steel milk pipe casing. Last up is Jura's Smart Connect. It installs into the machine and allows complete control of all functions via Bluetooth from a smartphone or tablet. With Jura's Joe app, you can create, save, and rename multiple custom drinks, take multi-drink orders, and even start drink prep using voice control. That's really cool. That's Jura's Anna 8 in massive aluminum, part of Jura's signature line of machines. It's compact and packed with features found in their more expensive models. If you have any questions on this machine or anything coffee, use the comments and I'll get you a detailed answer. I'm Mark, thanks for watching. I do hope you'll subscribe to the channel and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love.